Investigators believe a fender bender may have led to a shootout that left one man dead and two injured. It happened outside an after hours lounge in southwest Harris County. In just the past 15 minutes, KPRC2 has learned the suspect is that man. DeMontes Sharp. DeMontes. There, 31 year old DeMontes Sharp. That information, according to the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Investigators tell KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan they believe Sharp started the shooting and was in shot by a security guard. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says it's unclear if any of the victims in this shooting were even a part of that fender bender. Three. It's unclear if any of the victims in this shooting were even a part of the fender bender. Thanks, DeMontez, man. Hey, DeMontez, you want to go to the range, man? Oh, yeah, man, we go to the range, man. We going to go tomorrow, man. Just call me. Hey, DeMontez, man, I called you, man. Where your answer, man? Oh, man, yeah, man, man. Next time we go to the range, man, come by, slide through, pick me up, man. rc 2s row on Belogan. They believe Sharp started the shooting and was in shot by a security guard. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says it's unclear if any of the victims in this shooting were even a part of that fender bender. Three people shot outside an after hours lounge in southwest Harris County, possibly stemming from a minor fender bender. That led to uh, some type of uh, verbal and possibly physical alter. There we go. That's what it was about. The fender bender just put them in um in contact. It gave put them in a position to interact. The fender bender was a vehicle, no pun intended, to get them to re to get them to interact. It was the interaction that was the problem, man. Fender bender. That led to uh, some type of uh, verbal and possibly physical altercation as people were coming out. Others joined the fray. Uh, people produced pistols. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez believes there were at least two shooters. One woman was hit in the leg as she was trying to run away. The sheriff said she then took herself to the hospital. The sheriff adding a security guard fired their weapon. It's possible that one of the armed security guards out here acted quickly, was able to, to neutralize the, the, the shooter and shot him. And who knows if more people would have been shot. Gonzalez said four years ago, there was a shooting at this after hours lounge. This time, that's not bad. Four years between shootings at a black after hours spot. That's pretty good, man. Press one. This is like a, um. this is a model black establishment. <laughs> Or it might never be a black establishment, establishment that caters to blacks. Only a, a, a shooting every four years, man. Shit, man. I might, next time I'm in Houston, man, I might slide through there, man. It's pretty safe, man. The, the, the shooter and shot him and who knows if more people would have been shot. Gonzalez said four years ago there was a shooting at this after hours lounge. This time the lounge was closing when the shooting happened in the parking lots. And just want to continue to warn our community members to not frequent these after hours clubs. They're, they're hubs for a lot of criminal activity. Uh, we see all kinds of things from prostitution to drugs to uh, to disturbances and obviously shootings. And the sheriff believes a number of people were out here during and after the shooting. They're asking any of them who may know anything, have any information to call the sheriff's office or Crime Stoppers. Think about how shit, shit, fuck, ass, pussy, bitch, dirt, filth, cum stain, blood, hazmat, <laughs> black people are. I can't even think of a word. You're running this fucking after I was spot. Illegal, off the books. You're not supposed to be doing it. And fucking some people cause a fucking million cops to come down there over a fucking fender bender. And now you're fucking in trouble. You got this little fucking juke joint running out of the back of a fucking goddamn hair salon and shit 
shit's going good. No trouble. A minor fender bender and fucking 50 cops show up. <laughs> Black people fuck everything up. Salute to um Gary Thomas. He says, Hi, I, what sons can't seem to wrap their heads around is the idea of in a truly equal world, they'll still be at the bottom of society. Yeah, no, at a truly equal world, we'll be way further down. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't want no equal world, man. As you can tell, man. <laughs> 